Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, I just got done watching the entirety of Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 1. Just a few minutes ago, I turned off the last episode, at least of Part 1, obviously. And this is the video where I sit and ramble for a little bit, giving you guys my first impressions surrounding Part 1 in its entirety. Obviously, we will be talking spoilers, so there is your obligatory spoiler warning. And I I don't really have any sense of clear direction for this video. I make a video like this pretty much after every big Ninjago release. I just like to talk for a bit and just say what's on my mind. My overall quick general thoughts on this entire season thus far. And also really quick, I do have reviews up for all of the individual episodes as of right now. I will link the playlist down below in the description, so check it out if you want to hear me talk about any specific episode of Season 2 Part 1. But in this video, I just want to give my general thoughts and first impressions. So to answer the question, did I like Season 2 Part 1? Did I like what I saw? Uh, yes, v very much so. This season so far rocks they killed it dude every episode was good in its own way some were a little bit weaker than others but there were a lot of 9 9.5 10 out of 10 scores from me this season so far and this season deserves it man i will go as far as to say that what i've seen so far for this season is some of the best ninjago content that we have ever received and i'm being serious here it's been a while since we've had a season this standout and this good dragons rising season one was a very good season in its own right but this season so far at least because we only have the first half of the season this season so far was amazing i loved everything about this again some stuff was kind of like you know, decent at worst, but that's still pretty good, right? The story, oh my, I, I love it so much. I am curious to see though, how exactly this is gonna work with part two, because obviously part two is the tournament and all of that. So how exactly is that gonna work? Is, uh, you know, part two gonna be anything remotely similar to part one? I really hope so because part one, was awesome. But I loved the storyline, the Blood Moon, the Wolf Mask Army, the Shadow Dojo, Shatter Spin. Oh, there are so many cool things this season. So many cool things that I want to make individual videos about. No joke, I have a whole list now of videos that I want to do. As I was watching the episodes, I was jotting down things that I want to talk about uh, in their own separate videos. So needless to say, there will be content for a long time here. Um, what are some standouts though? First of all, the ninja, their journey here. I loved it. Of course, we have two groups of ninja doing their individual things. Uh, Cole and Zane hanging out with Bonzel. I liked that too. Bonzel was a pretty standout character too, not gonna lie. Uh, her having only been in part one for a few episodes. I wasn't really expecting her to be all that special in part two, or season two rather, but she was. I thought she was amazing. And her relationship with Cole and Zane, their whole dynamic, I loved that. And I loved the other group too. And what they went through with Egalt and Rontu. Dude, Egalt is such a good character. And I'm so happy that after they turned to stone, they came back. I was worried that they would have killed off those two dragons, but uh, they didn't. Good, because Egalt's storyline looks like it could be promising. He has that dragon disease, as mentioned by Wildfire. Um, surely that's going to mean something, right, at some point down the line. Also, I love the new history here with the Dragon Masters and them fighting the Forbidden Five way back in the day, Bonzel being the spell that kept the Forbidden Five at bay. Um, good stuff all around. I loved all of the stuff with Egalt and Rontu, and I loved how they trained the ninja as well, teaching them the ways of the rising dragon technique. Also, the villain presence, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but it's kind of the point of this video. The villain presence in this season was crazy. Very strong at the beginning and at the end. In the middle there, we kind of got a little bit uh, light on villain stuff, but when they brought it back, they brought it back hard. I think my favorite... One of my favorite moments, like individual moments throughout this entire season so far was the battle between Lord Rass and Eren. I think it was in episode nine. That fight scene, dude, I don't know how Eren isn't more beat up. I could, you know, complain about that, but I'm, I'm not going to because the fight scene was just that good. Lord Rass is a menace. He's smacking Eren into the ground. He's flipping cars. This dude's nuts. I, I love Lord Rass in this season. He is so cool. And his fight with Eren, like I said, might be my favorite sequence uh, throughout the entire 
season thus far. Another standout is the battle at the Cloud Kingdom in Episode 2. Uh, really the first time that we see Cinder fight for real. He battles Eren and Sora earlier in the season, but the Cloud Kingdom fight is when we see Shatterspin for the first time. And Shatterspin, amazing. Also, Spinjitzu. Let's talk about that quick, because Spinjitzu was used a lot in this season to make the ninja fly. And that was done in Season 1, sure, but Season 2, you know, really steps it up a notch in terms of Spinjitzu. Uh, and the Rising Dragon technique. All of that requires Spinjitzu. I love the sequences where the ninja are learning. Uh, the rising dragon technique. I love when Kai learns it. He has that flashback to him and Nia as kids. Great stuff there. I loved all the stuff with Nia and Lloyd learning it uh, in the final battle. Amazing stuff there as well. Um, what else? What else did I love about season two, part one? Let's talk returning characters. So we have a couple of characters uh, from the olden days that kind of cameo basically in season two. Obviously, we have the whole flashback with Master Wu at the Dragonstone Shrine. That moment is another standout from this season. It made me cry, man. Seeing Master Wu back and having him interact with Bonzel. <sighs> Such a sad moment for real, but I loved that sequence too. I'm really glad that I bought the Dragonstone Shrine set because I know exactly how I want to display it now. I want only a Master Wu figure on that entire thing. I think that would look amazing. And let's talk about Jay really quick. I feel like that's going to be a pretty big topic of discussion throughout the community. Uh, did the season do Jay? justice i would say so obviously it's not his time to come in just yet we have leaked uh, set listings for the summertime for the tournament that actually have him in there so i imagine all of that will be explained even further but uh, i do like how the master Wu ghost showed jay his ninja self and we find out that jay can control lightning still and he's aware of that so why hasn't he looked into like lightning elementals and found out more about himself and his past life maybe he can he just doesn't want to because again he's kind of reserved regarding his lightning powers he doesn't really want to show anyone he's kind of keeping it a secret so i'm curious to see where that goes uh speaking of things going where did he go <laughs> at the end of his scene he kind of just fell to the floor and uh I assume the administration picked him up? They didn't really say. What else did I like about this season? All of the new characters were fun, and they continue to be fun, like Eren, Sora, Wildfire especially. Wildfire is so cool. I love Wildfire. Same deal with Jordana. <laughs> I like her a lot too. Uh, Lord Rass. Cinder was pretty cool. Again, with Cinder... I'll probably do a video about this, but where exactly did Cinder come from? Like, like what is driving him to be evil and join the side of Lord Rass? Maybe we will get the Cinder backstory later on. Who's to say? I also loved all the Source Dragon stuff. Interesting to note that the Source Dragons aren't really based off of elements. They have elemental symbols, but when you turn on the subtitles, um, the names are like Motion. Uh, one of them is called Energy. One of them is Strength. So I guess it's more so just the virtues of the source dragons, I guess, that drive their characters. And we can see a lot of that going on too in season two. For example, Lord Rass is all about strength, right? Egalt mentions motion all the time. So those are two keywords right there. Um, so maybe, you know, we will see a lot of the storyline surround these virtues as the Dragons Rising series goes on here. And also the Forbidden Five. I can't wait to see what, the, what those guys are all about, man. Uh, the one that we got, what's his name? Noct? He's interesting. Uh, Lord Rass kind of puts him in his place immediately, so <laughs> that was funny to watch. Uh, but the Forbidden Five, I'm excited to see what they are all about as well as time goes on here. Very interesting stuff. Um, with that being said, though, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for this Rambly video. Uh, I do plan on tackling a lot of concepts individually in future videos and upcoming projects and all that. So stay tuned for all of that. Reminder, tomorrow we will be doing a spoiler talk live stream at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to be here for that live stream, set your calendars. We, we are just going to be talking more spoilers and, you know, taking questions, talking about anything that you guys want to talk about. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I really enjoyed Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 1. Let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it as well. And thank you so much for listening. If you made it all the way to the end. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed this rambly video. If you guys did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.